What's up guys, Parker Talks is back today. We are going to be going over week two of the college football season and my top five games in that game. Now, to this day, this is going to be one of the craziest college football seasons we've ever seen as we have a lot of postponed games due to the coronavirus and teams having a lot of numbers, so those games are having to be postponed. And also, the Big Ten is getting back into the mix. They just announced yesterday by the 23rd or 24th of October, they're going to try to implement their schedule, an eight-game schedule, back into the season. So I might have to do a new college football playoff format at that time. But anyway, they're going to have an eight-game season compared to a 10-game season in the SEC and and Big 12 and an 11 game season in ACC. It's going to be very interesting to see how these schedules line up and we'll just see how it goes from there. So some of the notable games that are postponed for this weekend are Houston, Memphis, uh, UNC versus Charlotte, BYU versus Army, which was a ranked ranked game, and then uh, Virginia versus Virginia Tech. But even though Houston's game was postponed, they are actually going to play Baylor this weekend, which is my first game for this weekend. I was 4-1 last week. Let's see if we can get 5-0 and this week. And I promise I'll go to 10 games once the SEC gets started the next week. So Houston, even though their schedule against uh, Memphis was postponed that game, they were able to implement a game against them and Baylor. And in this game, I think Houston just hasn't been the team they have been in the past, especially with De'Eric King transferring to Miami. Uh, Baylor actually has the defensive coordinator from LSU when they when LSU won a national championship last year. Uh, Baylor is looking to be a good team. They also have Charlie Brewer at quarterback, one of the better quarterbacks in the Big 12. I'm going to go with Baylor in this game. Next up, we have Wake Forest at NC State in, on this line. It's a pick em game, and I think that's how you should look to this game as a pick em game. Both of these teams are not going to be great this year, but uh, even though Wake Forest is a three-point underdog, I'm going to go with Wake Forest in this game, actually, because they've already had that game under their belt against Clemson. Yes, it wasn't close, but they kind of kept it a little close in the first quarter. After that, not so much. NC State hasn't played a game yet this year. I'm going to go with... Even even having lost to Clemson, they've already have a game under the belt. I'm going to go with Wake Forest. Next up is Syracuse at Pittsburgh. Now, a lot of Big Ten and Pac-12 teams were cut from the rankings as they obviously didn't play last week. So a bunch of teams bumped up, and then Pittsburgh went to number 25. And now Syracuse is not going to be a good team this year. Uh, Pittsburgh is always a pretty good team in the ACC. They can definitely get some upsets this year, and I think they'll have a pretty good team this year. They are 22-point favorite in this game. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. Next up is number 14, UCF, at Georgia Tech. Now, Georgia Tech handed me my one loss from last week as they upset Florida State that nobody was really predicting, especially me because I was thinking Georgia Tech was not going to have a great team this year. I think that's more on the Florida State side as Florida State still seems like this team that's just struggling to get back to where they uh, need to be. That doesn't undermine Georgia Tech. I think Georgia Tech can still maintain the momentum against UCF. However, I think UCF is just too much for Georgia Tech. They're number 14 in the country, and I do have them going all the way to the to the non to the as a non-power five winner into the New Year's Six bowl games. And I think UCF will be the best non-power five team. Uh, they also have Dylan Gabriel at their quarterback. And I'm just going to go with UCF in this game. Now, Georgia Tech, they did have over uh, 270 passing yards, which is kind of funny, as they were an option team uh, back back then. But I'm going to have to go with UCF in this game. And the last game is the college game day game. Number 17, Miami, goes to number 18, Louisville. And Louisville is a two-and-a-half point favorite in this game. It's a really close line. Now, I think this is going to be a great game, actually, uh, because College Game Day is there. They're going to have some fans there as well. Louisville looked pretty good against their game in Western Kentucky, but what I was worried about was their defense, and their defense didn't play great. De'Eric King, the quarterback for Miami, has had 16 consecutive games with a passing and a, and a rushing touchdown in those games, which is kind of incredible. Uh, I think this game is still going to be close. Louisville, Michael Cunningham at, at their quarterback, and Tutu Atwell, probably the best receiver in the ACC. I think this is a game that can go down to the wire, just like that Louisville-Clemson game a while ago, a few years ago, that went down to the wire and was a college game day game as well. I think this is going to be really fun to watch, but I'm going to give the slight edge to Miami. So that's it for the video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this 
projections for my week two games in college football. And I'm excited for the SEC to get started next week, and I'll do a video on them. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. See ya.